Welcome to GFN Gaming. I'm Russ, and in today's game, we're going to be playing some matched play Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team from Games Workshop. Before we get into the video though, if you aren't already, please click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means the world of difference to me. In today's game, Ryan's bringing his beautiful veteran guardsman, and I give the hand of the Archon a go for the first time. Let's have a look at the teams taking part, starting with the Hand of the Archon. I don't know a lot about Jakari lore, so I'm about to murderize some names, but leading my team will be the Cabalite Arch Cyberite. He's got a funky little ability to generate CP each strategic phase, which hopefully we'll see in action. Next up, one of my melee blenders, I've got the Crimson Duelist, or Ruby, as I like to call him. Did you get it? Tough crowd. Next up is the Disciple of Yulindra, which, if you're interested, is the Archon of the Cabal of the Blackened Tear, and she poisoned an entire Imperial Hive world. Looking after the pet mascot is the Sky Splinter Assassin, does actually have a pretty decent gun himself in the Shard Carbine. Next up is the second melee blender. We've got the Flayer, insensible to pain, reducing a lot of damage, and he can get some pain tokens handed out when he crits. It's the best gun in the game, almost, maybe, possibly. The blaster, obviously I've taken one. And it's my second and last dark light weapon. Next up, we have the heavy gunner. He's gonna be armed with the splinter cannon because I can't take the dark lance, but I normally would just because of coolness. Next up, we have a standard Cabalite agent with a splinter rifle and blades. He's also got the phantasm grenade launcher which sounds pretty damn sexy. And finally, we have the Elixicant, kind of working out as the medic or like a elven corpseman. He's given everyone the Hypex drug to give them one inch extra movement. And next up, we've got the classic, the veteran guardsman being brought today by Ryan. Let's have a look at his team, starting with his sergeant leader. Plasma pistol and power weapon. He was also chosen as my omen target, so he's gonna be rerolling sixes if he gets them. Spare to the air and second in command, we have the Confidant Veteran armed with a chainsword and bolt pistol. It's not a guard list but some heavy powered weapons. We've got a melter, a plasma and a grenade launcher. Coming along for the ride in its original metal mini is the Sniper Veteran armed with his long las and bayonet. Up for a quarterly review for job performance is the Medic Veteran charged with keeping these guardsmen alive. Next up is Pete the Peepin' Tom, the spotter veteran. Just likes to watch, but don't be fooled, they still charge for that. He's been given the topographical chart, giving the guard two scouting actions. And then next up, we have the commsman, also armed with a chronometer, giving them a reroll in initiative should they need it. Although it looks like I've spelled this horrendously wrong. And next up, we have the hardened veteran, got that annoying hardened by war five up feel no pain and a bionic arm. Finally, Ryan's chosen the Trooper Veterans for the Ancillary Support option because quantity is a quality of its own. And that's the teams, let's look at the mission. Another shout out to the, the guys at Turning Point Tactics. We're using their second iteration of their map pack, Killzone Natmund, and we're using Sector, and we've drawn up Capture as the mission type. Connor and Ryan are doing some great stuff, putting out some content for Kill Team, so make sure you head on over to YouTube and check them out, Turning Point Tactics. Okay, over to the first roll-off for initiative. First roll-off out of the way, initiative turn one. Four, respectable. Oh, we're rolling again. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? I will be the attacker. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick this side. Okay, because I'm here. I'm here already. Ryan wins the roll-off, and I choose this deployment zone, and then we place our barricades. And then it's over to alternating deployment, and then we end up here. Into the scouting phase, I choose Infiltrator Ryan's recon, but he has topographical charts, so gets to resolve another one after this. But first, I give him attacker, so he's gonna resolve his dash, and then he does get the topographical chart additional scouting step, and is gonna choose fortify, so he's gonna drop his extra barricade here. And with all of that done, we head straight on in to the first turn of the game. We ain't seen another soul in this graveyard of a world for months now. Marooned would be bad enough. But we was bombed, then marooned. The double drock you, eh? And then we saw the ships. Xenos ships. Now that would be bad enough, but it's the slavers. The dark elves. Some of the boys talked about mutiny. Better to be shot as a traitor than skinned as a loyalist, I will say. It's a testament to this drocked up galaxy that I've said that at least more than three times now. Drock it. Okay. 
we are in the first turn now both players are going to get a command point and then we're going to roll straight on in to the strategic phase starting with ryan and he's going to start with orders giving his orders move 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 he's going to relay that to the comms and who's going to relay it to everybody so it's an extra inch for everyone and then it's over to me and i'm going to play denizens of night for a little always conceal in my deployment zone tack ops nothing to reveal from me have you gone killy no, you nothing, gone to, nothing to reveal Maybe sneaky. I'm certainly being sneaky, not revealing anything. Uh, I think that's it. Turn one and no tack up reveals, so Ryan's gonna race forward with two of his GA2 troopers, and one is gonna turn off the smoke early doors. It's on the same side as his marksman, so I wonder if he's trying to clear some shooting lanes. Over to me and I have a couple of targets now, so I'm gonna go a little bit aggressive. This is the aggressive northern meta. Okay, so I will actually drop a little thingy. So it's going. This. Yes. Yep. Gets them both. Oh, I guess I have to roll stuff, don't I? <laughs> I just, you didn't roll. I was just, I just, that's done. It's done, man. It's done. Uh, one and done. Oh, okay, so the, I want to name the Disciple of Yalindra has thrown a torment grenade. Uh, so I add one if the operative has a save of four or worse, which you will do, because mm -hmm. you're both what you call it. And subtract one if you're not visible, but you're both visible. We'll go for the guy furthest away from me so far. Uh, okay. It's technically a three plus because I had one. Um, at the end of the turn, you, you are poisoned. Okay. At the end of each turning point poisoned, you, are, you get two mortal wounds. And you are treated as being English regard uh, English? You are treated as being English, no, injured, regardless of any rules that say you cannot be injured. And we'll go for the other GA2 guy. He's also injured. So oh. two mortal wounds at the end of the turn and injured. I'll put Successful the, uh, bomb. Flame tokens down. For yeah. The, uh, poison. There you go. So my disciple of Yalindra has raced forward and poisoned both of the GA troopers, and then the next two race forward onto these objectives. It's back over to me, and my arch cyberite is going to move forward, still within the cover of Denizen of Night, and then just hop on this objective. The guard commsman is going to use his last APL to boost the grenade launcher. My flayer is then going to race forward onto this objective, hopefully obscured by the smoke that's still there. The APL boosted grenade launcher can make it to this vantage point, and he has just one target thanks to Denizens of Night, and that's my Disciple of Yalindra, Colonel Mustard Gas to his friends. You're shooting the Disciple of Yalindra. That's the one. It's the badger. Yeah. That's the one. So, so grenade launcher is going to fire a crack grenade. It's going for the crack. Four on fours. Oh, oh now that was such a vicious roll. It was a, a good roll so far. It was a six mm -hmm. on the floor as well. Oh, classic. Classic. Um, okay. So we hit on fours, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to spend any rebounds at this point. AP one. Yep. I uh, guess so I'll take a cover save. Oh, there were four up saves. That's better than I thought. Uh, so I make two, so one crit going through for how much? That would be five. Five. Down to three. So I survive, but only just. Down to three wounds, I will be injured. My Sky Splinter Assassin is then going to move and target the spotter with his razor wing beard. Indirect, no cover, and silence, so I'm going to fire from conceal. It's not a load of damage, but enough to injure him, hopefully. I'm now firing at your spotter with the bird, Kakaka Ka. Five attacks. Indirect, that was the key word. No cover, so there's no cover saves. Oh. Uh, five attacks, hitting on fours. There's only one, two damage, though, obviously. Uh, okay, so I get three hits. Am I gonna do anything about that? You know what? I'm not. Okay, save it on five. No cover, though. No, no saves. So that's gonna be uh, five damage. Ugh. Yeah, two, one. Well, one, two, I should say. Five damage going through. One down to two. Ooh. Down to two. Ended. Nice. Some lucky shooting and he's down to two and his leader's gonna race forward onto this objective. My Cabalai agent's just gonna move onto this objective to make sure I can hold it at the end of the turn. And Ryan's just gonna pass with his medic, just psyching me out. So I'm gonna move over here with my Crimson Duelist. His radius will mean that both of these guys will be plus one APL on those objectives. And the hardened vet comes gunning forward, hiding in the smoke. Then I realize I can shoot my splinter cannon into his melter, so I'm gonna. Splinter cannon is use my infiltrate, not my infiltrate. Yeah, it is infiltrate, isn't it? it is. Use my infiltrate to go loud and then firing five shots 
my splinter cannon in your melter gun. Uh, not that you need a melter gun to kill one of these dudes, but five attacks, hitting on threes, and these will fly. Okay, not bad. So I've got that many hits, and then two of them obviously become crits with lethal five. Ugh. Um, ah, you got a five up save. Any AP? It's no AP. Um, you know, I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not going to spend that actually. You know what? I will. No, I won't. I will, because it's Jamel the gun. Okay. So what? It was the box. There you go. Three sixes coming up. Three sixes coming up. It one was six. not even close, but it was relatively close. So how many did you get? Just the one save? Just one save. He is dead. Whoa, dead as a stone. Obliterated. I'm just going to keep this pain token, I think. I don't think I'm going to spend it right now. Okay. So. Uh, oh. No, we're not, we're not spending we're not it. Spending. <laughs> we're not spending We're just losing the map to. So the Splinter Cannon gets a power from pain token and a smart play is to use that to dash it behind cover, but I'm not smart, and so the Plasma Gunner is now going to get to shoot at him. Okay, so... I've left myself open, I didn't dash back, and now I'm getting shot by a overcharge? Plasma. Overcharge. Oh, plasma. he's got an overcharge! Overcharge plus. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec, let me see if there's anything I can do quickly to avoid this. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Four shots hit on fours, though. Ooh. Okay. okay. Um, What's he gonna do? I am gonna spend a CP oh, to reroll. Don't one. do it, you get one. I might get one. You get one. Oh, I was you it was worth it. AP two, so he's dead. I think he's just dead. Yeah, so I don't get a save anyway. So, oh, Kasplimberich, kablam, kablam. I should have dashed back. This is the lesson, folks. You dash back. Lesson learned. My elixir is then going to move forward onto this objective. The spotter then highlights the disciple of Yolindra so that the sniper can take a shot. So, spotter has exposed my torment grenade guy, which is actually my disciple of Yolindra. Uh, and your sniper is now going to shoot him. He is. Four shots hitting on twos against Yolendra. Oh! But I got a crit. That is three, three mortal wounds. wounds. Oh, he's just dead. Pow. Kasplam. Tragedy, Colonel Mustard Gas is dead, and my last move, I'm going to race forward with my blaster wielding gunner. And then it's the last move of the turn, and the Confidant Veteran is going to race forward onto this objective, making sure I don't get it at the end of the turn. And that is the end of the turn, so let's have a quick look at what both teams have done in the first turning point. Between drugs and orders, both teams are moving an extra inch this turn, and it shows. No one remains unscathed, although the Dark Elves did get the worst of it, and here's a reminder of the mission we're playing Capture. So here are the objectives. If you are holding the objective at the end of the turn, it is considered yours. It's a sticky objective, so you can then move away from it. But if anyone else controls it at any point, it then knocks off your control. Let's have a look at who scored what in the first turn. The Dark Elves, the Jukari, they hold these two objectives, getting two victory points. And the Dastardly Guard, they managed to score these three objectives with three victory points for the slight lead as we move into turning point two. I'm down but not out. Let's see how turn two goes. It's the ever important turn two initiative phase. Both players get a command point, but let's get straight into that roll off. It's going to be tense. Turn two initiative roll. I'm going to break ties. This is the one I want. Oh, oh that was a good roll. It's a good roll. Oh, no. You don't have to take it, though. You don't have to take it. Do you want to take it? That's the question. I am going to take it. You're definitely going to take it. I'm going to take it. That's fair. Yeah. More than, more than. Yes. I will take it. Okay. I am going to issue your orders. Order. 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 What are you going to do? Uh, so I am going to do take aim. Take aim so everyone rerolls once. And then the comms is going to relay it because he is still within six inch of the leader. Yeah. Well, I like the tack offs. I think I'm going to pass. Over to you. Okay. Oh, you passed. Do I? <laughs> do I? <laughs> Give you a free CP, oh, yeah, I guess or do can. I fuck you up? Only if I pass, I believe, is it not? Or no, is it not? If, if, you, if pass, you pass, I get a CP. Ah, right, yeah. Okay, in which case, I'm not really bothered about you, uh, that. Yeah. It was a very nice move, but I am going to spend one for um, clear the lines. Nice. So in combat, I auto-retain a hit. Nice, and I'm going to play Fleet of Foot. Uh, 
<laughs> that 3 CP. Nice. Okie dokie. Back over to you, anything else to play? Uh, no, nothing for me. Uh, I'm also going to play Rending. Uh, sorry, Blade Artist, which gets me Rending in combat. Ugh. We've geared up for a big turn. Ryan's going to reveal central control. It's over to me. I'm going to reveal some tack ops as well. I'm going for route because I'm expecting to get up inside his business. And then it's back to Ryan and he's going to double down. Secure center line. It's all about the center for the veteran guardsman. First activation and we're going with the confidant. Okie dokie. So bolt pistol into my flare. Hitting on threes because he's a confidant. And roll rolling ones. Oh, roll rolling man. ones. Oh, so far. Okay. No AP because it's a bolt pistol. So, uh, no, no we did two, so no cover. Um, so that's four up saves. So I'm going to get rid of, I guess, just a crit, and that's going to be five damage going through, isn't it? Uh, so it would be, yeah, four, three. So down to, yeah, down to two, three. So five damage goes through. That's strong. So he lives. He lives. He lives. Confidant doesn't quite get it done with the bolt pistol, so he's going to charge in to tie up my flayer. Back to me, and I'm going to go leader hunting. My blaster is going to move and dash with fleet, and then fire at the leader with the big old blaster. As well as getting rid of orders, this would also get me route if I can get the kill. I do accidentally play him as BS4, though. My gunner has done an absolute yeet himself. He's got the free dash with fleet. So I've absolutely catapulted himself across the board, and I'm going to blast it, four attacks, hitting on three, five, six, AP two into the back of your leader. Oh, holding on to one there. Okay, so I've missed with two, but that would be two going through. You only get one save, five, six. I'm going to have to re-roll one of them to guarantee it. So I'm re-rolling one down to one command point. Oh! And I think that near enough means he's dead, but let's see what it does. So it's AP2, 5, 6. So if you get 1, it's still 10. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, but that's still 10 damage. Rosary. Oh my god! Burns out that one. Oh my god! It's only 5 damage here. 5 it? damage. I he forgot lives. he had the goddamn rosary. He lives. Oh, Nightmare. 3. Oh. Oh such a play as well. And then we remember these two guys take poison damage, and then Ryan moves two GA troopers, one onto the turbine and one into the center. Making sure he's got bodies for central control, it's then over to me and I move my Kabbalai agent forward within route range, and then I'm gonna take a pot shot at the leader with three wounds left. I went I went for it, I went for route, and then to nighty route on the goddamn blaster. And I'm just sort of like, I want that I want that <laughs> And you know, having been denied, we're very proud people, the Dark Elves, and you took my route from me. So, it's just a split rifle, but it's not bad. Hitting on threes, two, four, lethal, five. Okay, um, three hits. Uh, ooh, so a minimum will kill you. No, it's two, four. So I need two to go through. You know what, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll. Is that your last command point? Straight into another one. Okay, it hits, okay. okay. So, so I'm you dead, were definitely. definitely dead. Okay. Well, are you guaranteed to death? Boom! Oh. So that would get me one for a route, and obviously, unsurprisingly to you, I'm guessing, I'm also going to reveal head oh, Oh, disgusting. That's why you were good. That's why I was going to ask That's why you were... I wonder why you make <laughs> such an aggressive play. I should have remembered. You always take head I always take I then get a pain token for killing the leader and I'm going to dash onto this objective to take away Ryan's control. It's then over to Ryan and he's going to move this trooper into my flayer. He's charging in like an absolute madman. He's taken the clear the line, so he'll get an automatic retained hit, but this is still combat against an absolute blender. Even though it's only got three wounds left, it is still deadly in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's see how it goes for the guardsmen. Okay, so we'll see what's gonna happen here. So I'm hitting on fours because I'm injured now. So you're... I'm hitting on your threes because of combat support. And I'm on fours because I'm injured, my injured okay, flare. So I'm on my first. Come on! Four, okay. Eight. Okay, so one. So two hits automatic. Yeah. But that is, only, that is only. That is two only. Damage. <laughs> two damage. Two, yeah, because of your bloody damage. Because of my flare. Oh! oh! And they're all sixes because I gave him the toxin thing so he gets lethal five. So that is four crit. It's about as good as it gets. That is about as good as it gets. 
that brave guardsman sacrificing himself. Um, so even if I roll a crit, it would re- use damage, damage reduce it to two. Yeah. And then you just parry me out. And I mean, I'd have to get a crit, which is pretty wild. Okay, I'm just going to have to hit you for one. Hit me for one. I'm then going to parry. And you sure? And then do 15 damage. Uh, and technically, I can divvy out. What you call? I get relentless as well. Uh, I can divvy out a pain token, but it only goes to him, and I can't dash because I'm within engagement. So yeah, disgusting. Actually, get the two pain tokens, boys. Can he give them to himself? Yeah. Well, then he's got two pain tokens. Two pain tokens. He's, pain tokens. he's ready for it. Second activation of the GA two, and this trooper is just going to move onto the center line and center for central control, and then he's going to shoot at my agent. The classic gun. The classic plas gun. Plas gun. Plas plas gun. It is, you said it's plas gun now. <laughs> it is a plas so gun. now it's a plasma, plasma gun. Fact. Okay, shoot me the las gun into okay. my out there agent dude. Yes. So, because I'm injured, I'm hitting off fives. So I'm really rolling ones. Oh, I've, got, I've got rending as well. I just realised that. <laughs> oh, well, okay. we're rolling both of those ones. Oh, two, two crits. crits. Not bad. Okay. Uh, no no sort of reroll. Four up save, not bad. I've got no kind of cover where I am. Uh, so I get one, uh, which is nothing, obviously. Uh, how much damage? That's six damage for the last Six damage. Two. Damn. Damn. Two, 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 two. You ain't got any CP left. to reroll, have you? No. That is okay. It's not bad. Damn good. Not bad. Yeah, okay. I'll take it back. It's back to me, and my arch cyberite is going to get in some action, and he's going to charge into both the hardened vet and this trooper here to claim the center himself. I guess we are the nasty ones. Okay, so my leader has gone absolute rogue, and he's charging both you guys because he wants to stay in combat afterwards because you've got plasma hanging around. So I'm going to fight your power fist, dude. I know oh, he's veteran. I know he's better, but I should be able to take you. Okay. I feel. So I'm hitting on threes and I get retained. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I get rending, which is quite nice. I'm lethal four rending. Lethal four? Yeah. Oh, uh, so, four attacks hit my twos. Oh, so <laughs> That's all the first gen kill team dice right there. So that's all hits and all crits. Right. So I'm hitting on threes, let's go. Oh, oh the hardened veteran comes back into his own. He's like, you think that's a roll, son? Uh, okay, uh, this might be something of a combat. And what's your damage? My damage is four or five. Oh sh! This was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you've got like no. loads of hits over there, surely. No. What's the damage on a four? Crit? On a crit? Yeah. How much damage? You're eight damage, though, aren't you? Eight. Uh, seven wounds. With a five up feel no pain. Five up feel no pain. <laughs> Me. So if I if I get rid of one of yours, okay. that's still gonna be no. I'm just, just, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa Deadly. So you do five. What normal damage? Four, five. Four, five. So if I get rid of one of them, you're gonna do five, six, seven, eight, nine, which will kill me. But then I can parry again, and still have two coming through, unless you parry, which is that would need. You know what? I'm gonna parry. Okay. So I will hit you for five. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Five damage, so I'm down to four. This was not what I expected. He's very confused. He's like, this is meant to be easy. And then I will, how much? No, then I'm going to parry. Okay. And I know this is stupid because I I can't guarantee the kill now. That's going to be eight damage coming through. Eight damage. Let's see. Eight flamage. So eight damage. Yes. Five up. Real bad roll. That's a damn. Oh, no, these are ones, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yes. Well, Well, that's two. two. I think that means you live, isn't it? Yeah, I've got six wounds. Six. So you live on one. One wound remaining. He is alive on oh. Well, I'm still, I'm still in combat, I guess. That's what I wanted, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not exactly how I wanted it to happen, but it's what I wanted. And then the hardened veteran's gonna activate and fight right back again. And with Clay the Lions gets an automatic hit and it'll kill the Arch Cyberite. He then shoots my agent. I hope shoot too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so it's still fluff the bed. It okay. is now four shots hitting on fives. Hardened vet. Yeah. Four shots hitting on fives. Oh, oh it's no sh- hits. Oh. We roll in one. Oh. So he fluffs it. He done fluffs it. I mean, he killed the lead. He killed the lead. He's, he's, he's done enough. Yeah. 
So my agent lives and my elixicon's gonna dart out and shoot the hardened vet, hopefully kill him and dash back away because I've learnt my lesson, people. Okay, the guy, the little needle pistol dude, uh, is gonna shoot four attacks, hitting on threes, lethal five into your one wound confidant. No, it's not the confidant, the bruiser, the veteran, hardened veteran. Uh, oh, okie dokie, so that is three crits and a hit. That's a damn good roll. Well, he's not definitely, he's not dead. definitely dead. He's just very probably dead. Yeah. He's so just very probably Let's see how my saves go. Oh, I, very I'm not even going to start. Roll here. a couple. <laughs> what if you get all fives? No, he's dead. definitely dead. Definitely he's dead. Close, close. He gets powerful pain. Um, I'm just going to dash back. Okay, I'm going to dash. I'm just then going okay. to dash back. So he only had one wound remaining, so it's not a massive kill, but it felt good. I then get a pain token and the elixir, as I said, is just going to dash behind cover back onto this objective. Then it's over to Ryan and the vet guard and he's going to activate his plasma gunner and try and get rid of my so blaster. What I've noticed is he took that off me though. So not yes, I have seen that. So, plasma gunner. Overcharge. Overcharge and plasma? Yeah. Can I leave them on it? You can leave them on that. You don't have them. <laughs> Oh, that's a good roll! And he doesn't get the overwhelm. No, you didn't take aim, did you? Did you take aim? I did take aim, but I haven't. I'm gonna have to spend uh, at least one CP. Oh, no. It's gonna be straight into a one if you do that. Oh, oh just the one! I'm gonna spend another CP, because oh. I've got loads of CP. I've got a cover save, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no! He's taking three rolls! Sake. That's no damage going through. That's it, the cover save, he lives! Oh my god, he actually might live! I know. I'd completely written him off, by the way. <sighs> completely. Okay. So he is down to five. Four. Four. He's seven. Four. It's a miracle. I am truly blessed by Slaneth herself. I have the crab claws to prove it. He then dashes forward and my Sky Splinter Assassin fires. Okay, so. I was going to say the Kurnath handle then, but that's the other reason. So, five attacks, hitting on fours, going into your two wounds. Uh, what do you call it? The spotter. The spotter. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hit on fours. Hit on fours. Yes. He could survive. Survive. Oh, he saves two. Uh, that's going to be a minimum of one damage done. <laughs> yes, he's alive. <laughs> he lives with one. My crab claws and favor of the dark gods are gone. I then move and dash with fleet him over here. Over to the marksman and he's gonna try and take out my blaster once and for all. Okay. Sniper looking to get rid of the blaster. In on two. Move all in once oh, because he's taking the game. game, okay. Oh, still uh, no three. mortal wounds. No mortal wounds is good for me. Yeah, no, no uh, AP either. No save though, because the angle. Uh, yeah, no not one. Bring in one. Yeah. Oh, he makes two. Well, that's only going to be two damage going th three. Three damage. Three damage. Three damage. Oh, sorry, yeah. one damage going through for three. So he's on five. God left. damn. He survives. God damn. He's the little blaster that could. My crimson duelist is then going to charge into both of these troopers and fight. So, so they're injured, so I'll be hitting on fives, but they've got combat sports. So yes. Back to fours. Injured, I forget this guy. This is the flayer? No. This isn't the flayer, this is the other dude, the duelist. The duelist. The crimson duelist. Uh, okay, so each time I fight in combat, every time I parry, I can do two successful discards. Uh, crimson assault, which is what I've done now. I've charged in. I think I'm going to do a crimson assault, so I perform a free fight action after completing that. If I'm still within engagement range, I can immediately fight in combat again, and I don't have to select the same target. Yep. So I'm going to do that, just in case, you never know. Uh, so, four attacks, hitting on twos, I'm going to go into, they're both the same. Uh, yep. Go into this guy on there first. Ooh, okay, but that is still thingy hits. I'm rending, because of the whole ploy I played, and the lethal five, but that hasn't come into, what do you call it? Okay, so I'm hitting on fours. So you've got one retained for your ploy. Um, uh, so I am five, so I think I'm just going to parry both of yours. Ugh. And then uh, kill you. Uh, so I get a power from pain token. And then, I do. you know what, I think I will. Um, the other guy. I think I'm going to hit the other guy. Part of me thinks I shouldn't. Do I want to stay in combat? You know what I might do then? 
because otherwise he's going to shoot him, but you've got three people that can shoot the blaster. It's who you think's more deadly. I'm already, I'm already, because because he's got the banner, he's going to be controlling the thing above you anyway. I don't think I get anything from killing you. I'm going to stay in combat. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, well, uh, Oh, sorry. It was, it was the, technically it, it was the other guy. It was the other guy. I'll take the one it was. Back to Ryan and the grenade launcher is determined to finally, once and for all, get rid of this blaster. I was going to say, this could be, you can still live the crack grenade, it's a 1 AP. He's probably going to have to okay. move, is he? Uh, yeah, a lot of it too, to see him, right? Yeah. So, okay. re-rolling the 1. So, it is 3 hits, AP 1, okay. So. I get 1. Um, he didn't kill anyone, so he didn't get his power from pain. No. And that's going to be enough damage to kill him. Eight. Eight yeah. damage, he's finally dead. I've got no command points to re-roll anything. Because split me. Okay, okay. feel a bit more comfortable. Now. <laughs> a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Not much, like. That's why. So the blaster is finally dead and it's back over to me and I'm going to disengage my flayer and race him onto this objective. Meaning it will no longer be in Ryan's control, he then activates his spotter and changes my flayer to engage. And then it's back to me and I'm going to shoot some overwatch, the elixicant, into the confidant. So, the elixicant is going to shoot a bit of overwatch, there it is, straight on the page, with his splinter rifle, so it's bah, bah. Four attacks. Uh, I think, I think I may give him all the yeah, rending. Yep, so this is going to be four attacks hitting on fours now. And we'll get a cover save as well, so I need to do a good little round of shooting here. Oh! Nice! Bloody hell. So I only dropped one. What, are you hitting on fours? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad indeed, because the damage. Two, four. Oh, it's a good one though. Okay, so I'll Six save damage. a crit. Yeah. Six damage going through. Not yeah. bad. Injure him at least. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he's down to one wound. He's more oh, than Oh, God, yeah. I forget that they're quite low wounds. Oh, man, he could have killed him. He could have killed him. Man, oh, man. Back to Ryan, and he's going to activate his commsman. The comms so, is turning. turning. Comms guy yeah, is going to fire at my two wound agent. Yeah. Hitting on Hit fours. fours. Revolving ones. Oh! It's a good roll. It is an amazing roll. It's a good roll. I think that's enough. Oh no. Oh, oh suspense. <laughs> I'll roll them all at once instead of being that guy. Oh, I didn't oh. get any of them. There's no point re-rolling anything. He's just dead. Thank you. Ain't got any CP to re-roll at all. And I've not got that point. I needed to stay alive to get that yeah. point. So no more Overwatch for me, and it's back to Ryan, and he activates the bravest medic ever and charges into the flayer. This is brave. He is not scared of that scary looking guy with all those pain tokens. I was going to say, he's got all them pain tokens. What do they mean? It just means he's felt pain a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He's insensible though to pain. Hope you realise this. I understand. But the thing is, I'm all or nothing on a clip, really. Yeah. So, I'm three dice hitting I'm, on. I'm going to roll mine first because Ooh, if you get a psych me out. Just a psych me out. So, hitting on fours, but I'm relentless. You need it. I, uh... Uh, oh! So I do get an auto oh my God. hit because of the combat uh, ploy that I played earlier. So he's got one hit and let's see how I do. <gasps> Two hits. I think it's probably you know what I'm enough. I'm going to spend my last CP. Yeah, because I will obviously parry. not gonna be enough. You're gonna do one damage and then I'm gonna parry. I will live. I don't think there's any way around it unless, I, unless I don't parry. <laughs> Which I'm not gonna not do. <laughs> I'll parry you first. <laughs> you, I'm parrying you first. <laughs> you don't tell me what I do, I'm gonna parry. Okay, so insensible. Yeah. He takes one damage down to a minimum of one and he lives. <sighs> Saucy. It's Saucy. So the flayer miraculously lives, and that is the end of turn two. So let's have a look at what's happened in the turn. Fleet of foot has meant that I've been able to race all over the board, but both sides have taken big hits. Both have lost their leaders in this turn. What a turn two. 
As a reminder, the primary mission in this game is capture, so if you remain on an objective at the end of the turn, you score it, and then it's sticky, so you can move away and score other ones, but if someone else ever controls that objective during the play, it switches off. So let's have a look at the turn two scores. I managed to control these two objectives only getting two victory points, but Ryan's only got this one. With all the movement, we've been knocking most of these objectives back to neutral. This kill was pivotal for me, getting three victory points, two for Headhunter and one for Rout. Over to the veteran guards and Ryan did have central control, however my Crimson Duelist has the Cabalite Banner, meaning he's 3 APL for objectives so they don't score that, but they do get one victory point for secure center line, which means as we move into turn 3 it's 7-5 to the hand of the Archon. We're in a turn three now, both players will get a command point taking us both up to one, and let's get straight into the initiative roll, it's going to be important. Turn three initiative then? It is. I feel like this is important. You got it last time, didn't you? That's a solid roll as well. Oh, oh another one! I haven't even had to use my... You haven't? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I bet you get that. My re-roll, yeah. So you're going to take it? I am going to take yeah, it. Take it. I am going to take it. Ryan takes the initiative and plays into the breach. We do make a small mistake here. It should only affect models within the deployment zone, so these two shouldn't make a dash, and I save my CP. And it's under Ryan's first activation, and he activates the Medic. Medic is gonna bash that fighter in the face when he's I'm not gonna roll anything. Bayonet. I'm gonna roll one at a time. Oh, he's gonna stretch it out. Four up to kill him. <gasps> it's a two. He lives! It's a two. Come on! Yeah. Oh! You've got no, oh my god. Well, he's not just going to live, he's oh, probably going to die because uh, goddamn even beautiful. though you're injured, Hold you know what I'm right? It's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it was a six, but I'll roll it again. Oh my god. He's, you know he's lethal five? No, he's not. Um, so he's hitting on fours, but he gets all of them. Um, I, I'm relentless, I'll re-roll that. So you are injured. everything. Yeah, but he hits on threes normally, oh, and he's relentless, okay. so yeah. I hit with everything. Uh, he's technically little five, okay. uh, so that's then three sixes. I mean, the medic has been sliced <laughs> to pieces. He that's going to be hit. 19 damage. Well, his two up feel no pain will now be Oh my god. Absolutely cosplit Oh my him. god. Oh, and he's going to get another power from pain token. I guess if that things happen, that is what's happening. That was that was. I'm not gonna lie, mate. That was goddamn beautiful. That For was... you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I might have had the swing, and now I'm f nope. That is. I mean, he should have definitely wow. been killed. He absolutely should be dead. I mean, the medic was clearly feeling like commando. Yeah, right. he was. Yeah, they were like, Trev, don't do it. it. Don't do it. He's like, no, I've got this. I'm gonna stick with the flare, and I'm gonna charge him into the injured plasma gunner. This should be all she wrote, but we just saw how that happened last time. Four attacks hitting on fours. Uh, I do have a free reroll, but I'm relentless anyway, so it make a difference. So let's, you know. Okay. Oh. So I've got one <laughs> so far. Uh, I need a crit, so I'm gonna have to reroll it. I might as well reroll it because I need yeah. a crit. I get a lethal five, and it's enough. That's gonna be five damage, and he's gonna kill the plasma gunner. Ah. Well, I can't do a in-depth atonement. You don't have any command points left? I don't have any command points left. I definitely, no, definitely can't, can't do it. Do it. Uh, I just realised I stole your uh, thing as well. And he's up to six. Uh, uh, no, four bloody pain tokens. Technically speaking, so now I might as well dash. I might as well spend it because there's not, you know what I mean? There's nothing else going on yeah. with this guy. So either of these kills would count towards route, but it's now considered maxed out. I'm then gonna dash my flayer back onto the objective with all his pain tokens in tow. It's back to Ryan and his veteran guard, and he's gonna move the confidant veteran to get a pistol shot at my one wound flayer. Bolt yeah. pistol. Bolt pistol confidant. Just need one to go through. Four shots hitting on fours. Two crits. But you can do three free re-rolls when he's been yes. So, uh, let's go. So I left a space here to say I'd done this wrong, but rereading, it looks like you can use stimulated centers more than once per activation. Carry on. Let's use all three. 
Go for the crits. Uh, yeah. No! I got one save, didn't I? Four. Yeah. I guess technically I only need... Yeah, I only need one and a, a crit and a save. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'll keep one. Oh, my You can reroll that one. I will reroll that one. With your last pain token. Oh. And on a six, he survives. This is gonna be it. <laughs> what was the chance? <laughs> I mean, those pain tokens have came in. Holy smokes! I'm glad I didn't go 3 APL for no reason. Because I was going to be like, let's go 3 APL, but it made nothing. So the Dark Guards have truly cursed the Guardsmen. I then activate my Crimson Duelist. My Duelist is going to fight in where with your little injured dude, because he's still... Oh no, he didn't even two wounds, two minus two. He has, he's got another three, yeah, another two. So, so definitely a single hit's gonna kill him because he's four, so hit the twos. Uh, I mean, he's, he's brutal and flail anyway, so yeah, so he's just dead. So he kills him. So with the center of the kill zone now voided of guardsmen, I'm gonna play Robin Ransack on my Crimson Duelist and then yeet him to the right of the board. On the same flank, the heavily injured spotter is going to move forward to claim that objective. It's back to me and I deliberated I was going to move my Sky Splinter Assassin here to claim this objective, but instead I'm going to move him over here and shoot at this guardsman because I think he's going to try and drop down and steal this objective from me. So, I'm going to fire my Shadow Carbine, because it's not that bad. Four attacks hitting on threes, he's got more wound two though and lethal fire and ceaseless. Pretty nice, for some reason I thought it would be heavy as well, but it's not. That is good. Oh! Oh, God. That's four mortal wounds. I mean, I think he's dead. So four mortal wounds going through. I mean, I roll the saves and let's see where we go. Here. Toast. Oh! Toast. Red. Kabam. It's back to Ryan, and it's finally time for the marksman to clean up everyone's mess as he tries to take out the flare. One six. Sniper uh, shooting into my one wound legend. Hit on twos. No six. No six. No CP. No CP. Oh. No, I've, I've used up all my rerolls. Yeah. Oh, oh he I fails the first. Oh, he oh, fails the ball. Cause Splat, what a hero he was. He was a hero. I think. Did he kill three? Or a villain. Or yeah, four. I should say a villain. Having finally killed the flayer, the sniper's then gonna move forward onto this objective. Over to me, and my elixicant is gonna race onto this objective, hopefully holding it by the end of the turn. Taking umbrage with my Sky Splinter Assassin, the grenade launcher is gonna move out and take a shot. Grenade into my bird. Crap. My sky thingy. Sky Assassin. Oh, it is Sky Splinter Assassin. Okay, he's got cover. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Just two and no re-rolls. No, AP one. AP one, so I'll take a four cover save and roll the other one. Ooh, so we take, what, five? Four. Four damage. Okay, so down to four. Boom. He survives uninjured and it's his turn for some overwatch. So, hitting on threes this time. Hitting on, no, he hits on threes normally. So he's hitting on fours this time. It's not a great deal of damage because there's more wounds. Hitting right back at your guy. There's nothing. No. But oh, no. He should have. Did he kill somebody? Yeah. Oh one? yeah, he killed that dude. So he has got one reroll if you want to take it with a pain token. I'll take it. Save it later. Not gonna kill him with one pain token. He could get some more. I'm gonna do it. There you go. Okay. So nothing. So it's back to Ryan and he's gonna race his comms and right into the center of the kill zone as the last move to get central control. But that's it, that's the end of the turn, so let's have a look at what's happened in turning point three. That extra inch of movement really does seem to be adding up. Operatives are racing across the kill zone and objectives have been recaptured on both sides. As a reminder, it was a low scoring turning point two, only three primary points scored in total. So let's have a look at how we scored at the end of turn three. We're playing capture and as mentioned before, obviously a lot of movement and a low scoring turn, but the Hota have managed to land on three objectives scoring three victory points. However, the Dastardly Guard, they've done it as well. They've managed to secure themselves three objectives also, so it's an even 3-3 at the end of the turn. 
I managed to score Rout with my Flayer, so I've maxed that out, and I also have Robin Ransack still in play, and this operative is still alive, so fingers crossed. Over to the guard. It's an excellent end of turn play, getting two victory points for central control and maxing out secure center line. It's neck and neck as we move into the last turn. Both sides get a command point and it's on to the last initiative roll. Turn four initiative, I feel like it might be your turn. a big one. Well, it should be, but you've got to graphic with maps still. Yeah. And I've, I've rolled nothing but ones. Oh my God. <laughs> I rolled three ones for initiative. I won the first one. That's <laughs> been it. Okay, do you want to take it? I will take it. Of course he's going to take it. Ryan's going to save his command points and I've got two so I spend one on fleet of foot because it's just good. So it's Ryan's first activation and he activates the grenadier and he's going to race forward into this cloud of smoke and shoot my alexicant. Shooting a crack. Surprised he's not ran out of crack grenades. He loves his crack. He loves his crack game. Four okay. on four. That's a good roll. Ooh, it's a good roll. It is a good roll. Any, any command points being used? I'm using my last command point. Oh, I think this makes it unsavable. I make one save, that's gonna be what, four, four, five? Yeah. Oh, kabloomerated. That's one objective clear and I activate my Crimson Duelist. I'm gonna activate over here. I'm gonna inch out and easily charge in to get within an inch. Yup. Uh, and fighting combat. This should be a pretty foregone conclusion in terms of combat. Yeah. This guy is something of a beast hitting on fours. Uh, twos even, not fours. Uh, that is technically two more crits, so he's basically just dead. Uh, Splat. Definitely. Um, and then I'm going to uh, free dash back here. So my Crimson Duelist is going to dash back, claiming that objective, or at least knocking control away and hopefully claiming it. And because he's so far away, he should get that second victory point for Robin Ransack. The Confidant is going to move on to this objective, taking away my control and again, hopefully claiming it. And I'm going to move my Sky Splinter Assassin here and shoot this guy because I think he's going to dash, take away my control and then move back to the center for central control. And I don't want that. I want him dead. So in the interest of keeping more objectives, I think he might try and ruin my day. So I'm gonna shoot my Sky Splinter Assassin. Here's four shots, hitting on threes because I'm just not wounded. And ceaseless lethal five. Okay, so that's at least two more wounds. I will re-roll you. Okay, so that is that many hits and two more wounds. Okay, well let's see if we can save. I feel like the rolls got aggressive, yeah. like progressively more aggressive. So, uh, unless they're like one damage, no, they're, they're two damage each. So that'd be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage going through. Uh. So I get rid of that operative, but I've got no one left. And Ryan's last activation is to race forward with his marksman and take away that objective from me, foregoing central control, though. And that's it. That's the end of turn four. It's a short turn, but there's not a lot of operatives left in the game. It's not looking great in terms of objectives. We're playing capture and it looks like Ryan is on at least four now that I can see with me only maybe taking two. So I'm gonna have to hope that I've got enough of a lead and enough tack ops to take the victory. So let's get into the final score. I did in fact manage to capture two objectives, getting two victory points, taking me up to nine. However, as predicted, Ryan is on four objectives, getting four victory points at the end of the turn, taking him to 11. I did manage to max out Robin Ransack, so that's six tack up victory points for me. Ryan unfortunately didn't get central control, so only ever got one victory point for that. However, he has an unrevealed card and now he reveals it. Glory in death for two victory points, meaning at the end of the game, Ryan snags the victory 16-15 with the last tack up revealed. What a G.
It was a super close game. It could have been anyone's at the end and Ryan, well-deserved victory. Um, thanks for joining us. If you stayed this long, amazing. Please consider joining the Patreon. It all helps in my eternal quest for free stuff to make new videos for you with the free stuff. It's a win-win. Okay, see you all in the next video.